Hello out there. Whenever an organization is faced with the task of selecting the most appropriate security assessment for their business, the option can be very much confusing. Some may suggest for pen tests, some may suggest for red teaming. Generally, we are so used to use this, uh, use the both of this term interchangeably that we consider both as the same. However, if you look minutely, they are very much different in terms of words and action. Where a standard penetration testing uh, mainly focuses on accessing the network or system, the weapons, mobile devices, whatever the assets given to the tester, in an effort to identify as much as vulnerability as possible. Red teaming, in contrast to the penetration testing, is focused on the target objective, which has been laid down by the organization itself, that they want to access this part or they want to expose this part. This kind of objective has been set by the organization rather than putting a priority on the as many as vulnerabilities as possible. So red teaming in short try to also assess the you know response time of the organization that how quick they are to identify that some kind of attack is being done on their network or not. So red team always focus on objective at the same time they will try to keep their uh, noise so they cannot be identified easily by the organization and try as much as possible ways to avoid detection. So uh, after uh, laying down the objective by the organization, red team, red team basically starts their enumeration part. As to the information gathering part in red teaming, it is very much exhaustive unlike the penetration testing, which has more, mostly centered around the application or the asset itself. Red teaming uh, you know, travels beyond the boundary of the application and it uh, touches the human weaknesses as well. Uh, they will try to cover the employees also. Uh, and you know they will try to cover all their footprints in the social medias and everywhere so that they can find some loophole which can be exploited against them and eventually exploit against the asset that, are, that has been given to them. Now <clears throat> suppose we have done all the gathering information gathering then what will be what uh, the red team will do they will try to exploit the weakest link through some known CV or some uh, you know created CV or uh, using some social engineering techniques or a varieties of uh, ma methods, attack methods are there. Now once, once the team, you know, suppose exploited the system and they will get an initial hold in the system, they will try to escalate their privileges. Now in order to escalate their privileges, there are a number of ways to uh, do so. And it is completely a different skill set game. Okay. But suppose uh, you have, uh, you want to uh, get, uh, uh, suppose that you have got, get into a web server of a company and you have just received the www data user privileges uh, of that particular server server and you want to escalate your privileges to root level now there are ways to uh, you know check the i'm just considering the, this is an example don't take this, uh, you know literal uh, you just want to escalate your privileges and in the meantime you have managed to hack an admin email suppose that uh, his email is admin at the red gmail.com and you have to hack into it and you have found that all the root password are stored in his uh, you know draft then in that case it will be a bonus for you that means without going very much technical you have got uh, you know and hands on the uh, vital credentials that are that will help you to get the root privilege in the system so that's why I have highlighted this thing that in order to get the privilege escalation, the getting the valid account credentials is also a very important part. Now, where does this valid credentials stored? Either sometimes they are stored in OS and sometimes they are stored in browser. Now, when it comes, comes to the browser credential dumping, I'll be touching this part in this particular video. And for this, I have chosen the Brave browser, which is a Chromium based browser and uh, very much known for its security and uh, privacy so again uh, for dumping the credential from the browser there could be a script out there uh, which is based on chrome but i'll be coding my own script uh, which will give me two output first what kind of uh, credential are stored in the brave and at the same time what are the visited links by the user along with the timestamps okay uh, i'll be putting up this script in my github repo so that you can customize it for the further uh, browsers uh, based on chromium at the same time, as a disclaimer, I'm saying that this particular script, uh, I strictly not strictly telling you guys not to use against any organization without having an authorization, valid authorization from the same. 
and it is totally for the educational purposes so uh, please uh, while you know while you are having a power then you should use this power uh, you know uh, very coolly and uh, you know with the responsibility at the same time uh, that uh, you know there is a saying in the spadam and that the great power comes with the great responsibility so you should follow that now uh, Uh, in some time only, I'll be just putting up my. I'll be showing you my uh, script, and uh, for the time being, I have uh, coded this script for the Windows-based uh, platform, and I'm showing you the Brave browser. How does it look? And it has a face of a lion. It is very popular. So let's see. Mm, okay, you can see right here. The Brave browser is there. Uh, I think there is some issue with my net internet. That's why it's not uh, putting up. So uh, in the meantime, let's fire our uh, PyCharm ID and fire up our script so that uh, we can work on that. In the in the back of back of this, our internet will get corrected. Okay, so mm, the site cannot be reached. I think there are some issues. Okay, no problem. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, the PyCharm is uh, is loading. Uh, just bear with. me for some time uh, yes it is loading and uh, i'll be firing up the brave stealer which i have uh, named my file and you can it is based on python 3 and it is using uh, certain modules like uh, ps utility for process identifying okay uh, sudel for file file operations uh, sys for identifying the platforms uh, all the all the basic modules of python okay that i am using right now okay Okay, so let's see, and I'll be running the script right now. You can, you could see that uh, in some time, in in no time, we'll be getting all the credentials because oh, so uh, at the same time, see, it is asking that uh, Brave browser is running. So, do you want to close it? Choose your option. So, let's press Y. It will just close that process and. Uh, try to get the credentials from us so you have got the credentials out of the browser uh, you can see that i have done all this testing in some time back so you might be thinking that whether it, it will work at recent time or no so it is definitely working and uh, let's try to you know visit our browser and try to access the hackerone.com so that you can and again rerun the script so that you can identify that whether the script is running in the current time or not Okay, so I'll, now let's go back to the script and rerun it. Mm, okay, and yes, press Y, and yes, we have found the hacker one dot com is there. So the script is working perfectly, and I hope that I have cleared my objective to you that how credential importance is very much important in red teaming exercises and what can be done. Now in our subsequent videos in red teaming, I'll be putting up the ways to exploit a system and maintain a kind of command and control server, uh, so that uh, you can you know uh, siphon out all these credentials to your server as well. Uh, I'll be showing all those things, so stay tuned with us. And at the same time, I would like to thank everyone for showering their love to the newly created channel. And in case of any specific demand, please reach us to us to comment. and at the same time you can share your views and opinions also that what can be improved so, and thank you thank you for your time and have a great day thank you